Hi guys, today I'd like to talk to you a little more about materials and today I would like to cover the subject of hooks. There are many different brands of hooks out on the market today so we're going to cover that. There's different styles. We'll cover styles, we'll cover sizes. We're going to cover the eyes. There's turned up eyes, there's turned down eyes, and there's straight eyes. Of the many different brands on the market, we have Mustad, Tiemco, Daiichi, Partridge, Gamagatsu, just to name a few. Myself, I like to use the Mustad. I've been using them for 30 years and they have never failed me, so when you have something that's working, you stick to it. And we're going to go over to the table where I have some hooks displayed and we'll do that. Okay, when it comes to styles of hooks, we have basically three or four different styles of hooks. We have dry fly hooks, we have wet fly hooks, we have streamer hooks, we have popper hooks, and we have scud hooks, we have stainless steel hooks, salmon hooks. Let's get into the specifics of each. Here we have two different styles of dry fly hooks. We have the standard Mustad dry fly hook, which is a 94840 or R50. And next to that we have a 9671, which is an extra long hook. Hooks come in size ranging from size 1, which is the biggest, to size 28 which would be the smallest. The bigger the number, the smaller the hook. We also have hooks in size 1 aught through size 6 aught or 7 aught or higher. When you have a 1 aught, that is a large hook and going up to 6 aught or 7 aught, they get larger when there is an aught after the number. So 1 aught is smaller than a 2 aught, and 2 aught is smaller than a 3 aught, so on and so forth. The most commonly used size hook for trout would be anywhere from a size 6 through a size 18. These common sizes are usually turned down eyes, that is the most common commercially available hook fly. Okay. Dry fly hooks are standard turned down eyes. The wet fly hooks are standard turned down eyes also. We're talking nymphs and smaller streamers. When you get into larger streamers you will use a straight eye hook and some scud hooks will have the straight eye also. Turned up eyes are generally used for the salmon or steelhead flies. For some dry flies such as a caddis, a beetle, or an ant where the body is small and the gap is bigger and this gives you more room for hook. As you can see by this example of these Mustad 94843 this is a dry fly hook size 14 and it is a turned up eye. This is a caddis style hook. And next to that is a salmon hook. It is a mustad and it is a 36890 size 2. And you can see it has a turned up eye. Moving up to the front row, I have some examples of nymph hooks. The first one is a Tiemco 2457 and this is a size 14 scud style hook. And you can see the, uh, the hook is has a good bend in it just like a scud you can see on the picture on the box a very good example and that also has a turned down eye next to that is the standard mustad nymph hook or wet fly hook and this is a 3906 size 12 and it also has a turned down eye first we have a 34007 size 6 and this is a standard stainless steel saltwater hook and has a straight eye. And next to this is a straight eye and this is a 33903 by Mustad. It's a number four popper hook 
and you can see it has the kink in the shank and that is to aid you when you put cork poppers on your hook. It is to aid in keeping the popper aligned straight and gives it a little bit more material to hold to. Another thing I feel is worthwhile to point out is the X numbers on hooks. Okay, here we have three different hooks. The two in the back are the same size. They are both size 12 dry fly hooks. The one in the front with the turned up eye is also a dry fly hooked. The one in the middle is a standard dry fly hook, standard length, standard gap. The one in the back is a one extra long hook, being the gap is still a size 12 gap, but the shank would be equivalent to a size 10 shank, which makes it one extra long than your standard size 12 hook. The hook in the front is a one extra short hook, being the gap would be a size 12 and the shank would be the same size shank as it would be for a size 14, being one extra short. If you had a two extra long hook, you would have a hook with a gap of a size 12 and the shank length of a size 8. If you had a two extra short hook, you would have a hook with a gap of a size 12 and the shank of a size 16 hook. Here in this comparison, the hook in the front is a standard wet fly hook. It is a size 14. The hook in the middle is a size 14 extra long nymph hook. The hook in the back is a size 12 standard nymph hook. You can see the two extra long nymph hook which is in the middle. It is a size 14. It has the same gap as the standard size 14 but the shank length is longer than the size 12 standard length shank. It is actually the length of a size 10. If you had a size 14 to extra fine, the gap of the hook would be size 14 and the thickness of the wire would be equivalent to a size 18. If you had a size 14 to extra heavy, the gap of the hook would be a size 14 and the wire would be a size 10. Hey guys, I hope that I provided you with some valuable information and hope that I clear some things up. So I hope that you uh, learn something from this video. I hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please leave comments, questions, suggestions, uh, requests. And most of all, I thank you for watching my videos. Bye.